everyone welcome back to legend of mushroom with genghis so wanted to talk about this new skill delay it only works on pve but how to use it and it's actually becoming really really strong and useful as players are learning how to use it so i'm going to show you where i'm struggling right now i am in the soul trials and i'm going to show you this guy basically three shots me usually i get him to about 25 percent less but i can't I just can't do anything because he keeps three shot in me. So there's one. So there you go. I got him at half now. And there, he one shot at me. Anyways, so we're going to change up our skills. We're going to watch him one more time just to see when he does his first attack. So we're counting down and he attacks at about 23 seconds and then 21 seconds. So he gets me with that. So I'm going to have to look at my skills. And just a reminder, most of this information, how to play the game, guides, skills, etc., can be found in our Discord. The link to join is in the description to the video there's so much information in there also if you are spending on this game spend responsibly use the code mush5 you can see at the top of the screen for all the best in-game purchases with aptoid to have them starting in about six seconds maybe five seconds because i want to stop him so let's look at my skills and i've loaded up some skills that i'd like to use so i'm going to use 100 slashes basic attack damage resistance and 0.5 percent attack based on current hp so the reason i'm going to use this is because i have high hp and i'd like to take advantage of that so we're not taking that one out yet we're going to use blitz but we're going to put blitz on a timer so let's look blitz last three seconds immunity disarm right here daz or sorry dazzled stuns for one and a half seconds and then disarm disarms the targets for three seconds so we have a three second a three second and a one and a half second so we might be able to protect ourselves and then we also have the clone right so we might be able to collect our co protect ourselves just long enough that we might be able to get those final attacks in so I think I should start with Blitz. So I'm going to start with Blitz and I'm going to have it come out. So oh, this sucks that I have to remember these. So Blitz is skill three. So skill three, I'm going to have start at five seconds. And then let's apply that. And then we're going to have disarm which is a one and a half second or dazzle sorry is a one and a half so we're gonna have that go just after that so if that so that's my fifth skill we're gonna have that go at seven seconds actually we'll go eight and then we're gonna have disarm go after and that's going to be at let's see how late we can push that one to so that's skill one we could go, uh, we got to go nine seconds because the other one's only a one and a half. Or, so let's just double check and see if I've done that exactly how I want. Yeah, that's the longer one. That's the shorter one. And now the only other thing I want to look at is my passive skill. So lasting damage receives target within continuously restores HP 15%. Max HP for five seconds. Yeah, I think we're just gonna let that go normally right away. And let's see how we do in this new tune-up with the delays. We're basically trying to protect ourselves. We're basically trying to get a shield. Now I didn't change the clone and I didn't actually see my clone hop out there. So how are skills going? We're protecting ourselves. We're still doing damage. We got a shield on. I am liking how this looks, but we need our other skills to pop. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to delay the clone. I want the clone to come out at the end and my clone is the second skill. So let's go back into here and skill two, I'm going to pop out right at the end because basically we're not getting hit at that point, up until that point. So let's go back in here. 
And he's marching up. I feel like he's coming up faster. Is that just because I don't have a clone to slow him down a little bit? So let's launch our clone. Come on, come on. It should be launching. There it is. So that'll slow him a little bit. But we did a bad job on the skills. Oh, we got him. There we go. It worked. I was just going to say we did a bad job in terms of I don't think we got much skill crit going on there. So anyways, that's how you can uh, use the skill delays to basically create a lengthy shield. And that's what I was doing there. So I basically got three seconds bl blitz, and then four and a half seconds from the immunity and the dazzle. And also, I counted how long it took him to walk up to me. So I didn't waste all those protections while he's just walking and avoiding that. So very important there. And obviously you're only gonna do this in scenarios like this, or let's say you're at the end here. Like, I don't know, I haven't checked this, but hey, we got the blob again. So in, I'm at infinity six, and I can basically take advantage of the exact same situation. So let's see if I kind of luck out and this works here. We got some immunity and disarming going on right now. Our clone should come out. Come on. No, I think it, and there we got past him. So let me know in the comments if you guys are implementing some sort of force shield of your own. If you're going to spend on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. It's got all the best in-game purchases. They fight for market share with Apple and Google. That's why they offer these discounts. Use promo code MUSH5 and information of how to download this is in the description to the video as well as in the Discord. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.